A very good day to you and welcome to the program. I want to speak to you about one of the miracles that has changed my life. Folks, you know I'm a farmer. You know that uh, the weather means everything to me. I've yet to meet a farmer who says, I wish it would never rain again. No rain, no food, no food, no business. And so for us farmers, rain is absolutely essential. You can't live without water. You know, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 says, If my people, who are called by my name, that's the Christians, will humble themselves, bow the knee, and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then the Lord says, I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins, and I will heal the land. I will bring the rain. I think in my 40 years of walking with the Lord, I don't know how many droughts I've been through. I don't know how many droughts I've prayed for. And I don't know how many times I've cried when the rain has come. You know, many a time we'd be on the farm here. I've got no center pivot. We've got no irrigation. We, re we rely on the eternal pivot. His name is Jesus. And I'm not being disrespectful. And the, the maize crop would be about that high. And it was a, a very expensive crop, seed maize. And the sun would come out every day and the maize plants would start to twist because they couldn't take it. They were dry. They were thirsty. They started looking like onions. And I'd be waiting and waiting and nothing would happen. And no, nobody would call for a prayer meeting. But out of desperation, we would call a prayer meeting. And all the people would come and the ministers. Well, they had to come because their sheep were there at the town hall. And you would see these old ladies, these prayer warriors would come with their umbrellas. And we hadn't had rain for maybe three, four weeks. And as every time, folks, God is my witness. We go into that town hall and we start to cry out to God for rain. You know that when we come out that town hall, it would be raining. I'm telling you the fact. Why is it that we are so hard hearted? Why is it that we are so proud? It might be sickness in your family. It might be unemployment. It might be disease in your crops. And we wait to the last minute. I know because I get the prayer requests every day. Please, the doctors can do no more. As a last resort, instead of a first resort, let's go to the Lord. And what do we do? We pray the prayer of faith. That's right. We anoint the sick with oil. What happens? And Jesus heals them. Not every time. And why doesn't Jesus heal everybody? I don't know. Because I'm not God. And I'm going to be honest with you. But one thing I'm going to do, just like Catherine Kuhlman said, when I get to heaven, I'm going to ask Jesus and he'll tell me. But until then, I will continue to pray for a miracle. Because I have seen rain. I have seen people get out of wheelchairs. I have seen blind eyes open and deaf ears unstopped. I've seen it with my own life, in my own life. And I want to tell you something now. He can do it for you. But he requires one thing from you and one thing only. What is that? That is faith. And how does faith come? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. Without faith, you tie God's hands and you can't work. Now, I'm going to pray for you just before we close. And I'm going to pray that God will give you the faith to believe for your miracle. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, my friend watching this program right now is in dire straits. Marital problems. Physical sickness. Mental distress and depression. The business is going under. Lord, in Jesus' name, I join my faith with my friend and I believe for a miracle in their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. May God bless you and please write to us so that we can rejoice with you when that miracle comes to your household. Remember, faith has got feet. It is a doing word. Now go out and exercise your faith. That's right. Until next time, goodbye.